What the court did not do on its last day in session, I will do on my first day if elected president of the United States. And that is I will act to repeal Obamacare. Today's Supreme Court ruling will not only have a huge impact on millions of Americans and businesses, in the, but it will also impact certainly the political arena as well. Earlier this afternoon, I talked with Democratic Congressman Ted Deutsch about the Supreme Court's decision. Congressman Ted Deutsch joining us now from Washington, D.C. Congressman, thank you so much for your time. Uh, first, let's get right it's into great it. Great to be with you. What's your take sure. on today's Supreme Court decision? No, this is a historic day in Washington. It's a historic decision by the Supreme Court. As a result of, of what's happened today, look at the impact on middle class Americans. More than a million Americans are going to see rebates in excess of a billion dollars from insurance companies who have been charging, spending more money on overhead than on affordable care. We're going to see over five million seniors uh, see lower drug price, prescription drug prices. More than six million young Americans will be able to stay on their parents' policies. That's just the start. No more discrimination for pre-existing conditions. Finally, we have some clarity. This is constitutional, just as we believed. It's, a, it's an important day for the American people. Congressman, a lot of people talk about uh, seniors in our area on fixed income. There's been a lot of talk from the opposition that this is a tax. Will this, in fact, affect lower income seniors here in South Florida? No, as a matter of fact, for, for seniors in South Florida, what they're going to do is they're going to see their, the donut hole in prescription drug coverage closed. They're going to be able to continue to have preventive care at no cost. The things that are, have been uh, starting to, to be phased in, those are the important steps that are going to provide better coverage for seniors, better access to health care for seniors. Uh, it's important that they understand that and that we dispel some of these, uh, some of these mistruths that are being told. Let's talk again. Go back to the changes that we've seen so far. I know a lot also, not just the seniors, but younger people living at home with their parents, they'll be able to stay on those policies? Sure. More than 6 million young people can stay on their policies uh, up until the age of 26. If you think about the, the difficult uh, economy that we're still moving forward on, uh, there are still a lot of kids who, who are under the age of 26 uh, who may not have health care at their place of work. Maybe they just graduated from college uh, and they're getting up on their feet. Uh, whatever the case, they're now going to be able to stay on their parents' policies, which is going to give them the health care coverage that they need that they've not been able to obtain, they've not been able to afford. Congressman Ted Deutsch, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Of course, of course, thanks.